Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 106 of my Dire Wolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. <laughs> that minigun, man. <laughs> Get out. Uh, anyway, uh, we're back here today and we're gonna do some stuff uh, with mechanism. Uh, I got this little potato-y guy set up over here. And now that I think about it, I think I could maybe get rid of the whole need for this and just put them right next to each other. But there's one thing that I completely forgot about, and that was this Fido Grow. Hmm. Um... That looks easy enough. Appetite, Niter, and Soul Sand, or just Sand. Or you could even put a Bone Meal in there if you, if you don't have a lot of Appetite. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think I got a little bit of Appetite. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh... Oh man. Now can you Okay, it's just one to one if you crush it. I thought maybe it might uh give you more purpose, but it doesn't, so okay. Um so let's make a little bit of this guy, even though it doesn't like matter right now because it's it's full <laughs> so, yeah just one is fine because it's full um there is an augmentation that i could take out i would have to lose a flux linkage amplifier or a processing sieve which i don't really know if this is doing what I think it's doing. If it's giving me more potatoes, then that's great. But if it's just giving me the poison potato, then I don't know that I need that. You know? Um, because there is... Let me see. Did I put it in this one? Uh, what's that called? Augment. No it back over here no i could have swore i made one it's called this auxil oh it's auxiliary cap auxiliary there we go see if you put this in it destroys non-primary output so i if if this one isn't doing what i think it's doing i could just replace this with that and it would destroy all the uh, poison potatoes and I wouldn't need to get a trash can and then I could just set this guy right next to this guy and it wouldn't even need a node so uh, but let's get on with it right I can uh, I can play around with this later depending on if if this keeps up with our needs we'll just leave it like it is so now we got these off. Um, I will probably try and automate uh, the crafting of the Fido Grow and uh, inserting it into here in between episodes, I guess. Um, but now we try and get some biofuel. Which that's what we gotta turn these potatoes into. So if we take a, it's just a plain old crusher. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's get a crusher. I would have that on AutoCraft in. The RS system so let's just get a basic crushing factory 
And we can set this up to start getting some biofuel. Um, yeah, I guess we can just put him right next to this since we just want the potatoes to go directly in. Right. So let's, uh, and I haven't put any other upgrades in here. I probably could just go all out speed on this one, honestly. So let's do that. Auxiliary, no, it's the flux linkage amplifier. There we go. This is the one. I, want. I have to, I, I can't believe I haven't put that on autocraft. Um, like what was I thinking? Now we're going to come in here and do the control click thing. I feel like so. But I, I really want this to do the stuff and things as quickly as possible. Oh God, there's blood magic in here. That makes me uh, really want to play some blood magic. Um, I know I played some when it was in 116. But they didn't have it all finished yet so I think you could only get to like a tier 4 altar at that time so yeah. all right let's set him up to go out on the right um oh wait do are you yes that's what we want oh look at that before I even got this guy set up he's taking the stuff in um Let's clear this. Okay, so we want to come in on the left. We're going to get the biomass. So let's just leave it like that until I know. <laughs> or the biofuel. Why did, did it stop? Oh, because it ran out of power, I think. So let's turn that on and give him some upgrades. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how fast um, this guy is going to be able to go to keep up and how fast this guy is going to go. Wow, it's already used like eight of the Fido Grow. Look, that's got a stack of 70. <laughs> what the? Is that a thing? Is that a real thing? It's still a thing. Okay, um, let's do this. Now that we have this, let's give him power. A little bit of power. He doesn't need a lot, I don't think. There we go. I'm getting all the biofuel. Um, I definitely want to get him some upgrades. Just speed and energy. Um, <laughs> I, I, I really hate having multiple systems. I, I just want, you know, <laughs> I want them to be combined. I want to have all my auto crafting stuff set up in my new system and not have to worry about, um, the old system. Um, I may want to upgrade this. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to. I'm just going to upgrade him. Let's get our tier upgrades. We're probably going to need more of these to... our next <laughs> machine that we got to make for the next step. All right, elite and then ultimate. Nice. Now, are we completely, look at him just go 
and we're getting um uh, yeah this is like i might need to um get some overclockers for my little extraction guy here uh, do i have any here i know i had some but maybe i put them in yeah that's what i thought See if that helps situation a little look at him just go it's <laughs> okay um all right so now we have some biofuel oh man what do we need we need ethylene that's how we get ethylene right is you have to uh take biofuel hydrogen and uh water and, and water two biofuel equals one substrate and ethylene well that is pretty cool because we need both the substrate and ethylene um yeah so we need this is that on the list the pressurized reaction chamber so that we can get water and hydrogen but the hydrogen is going to need what the electrolytic separator uh yeah you get water in and it gives you hydrogen and oxygen so we need both of those uh, electrolytic separator and a pressurized reaction chamber i don't know uh yeah i don't think i have these on autocraft but i should have you know the autocrafts for those oops There we go. We got an electrolytic separator, and now we need a pressurized reaction chain. Now, can you upgrade the separator? I don't think you can. No, let's just uh, let's just get the pressurized reaction chamber. Ooh, I got stuff that I don't have set up over there. Let's go ahead and make everything get that going what else did we need um a basic two basic chemical tanks and a dynamic tank aha oh we uh got more of those Okay. Oops. What am I missing? Oh, more steel. I want to use these. Um, they're not there. Um, say I. I know I took care of the carbon issue. There we go. All right. Now we have to feed water to this guy. Uh, but we just, we happen to have a little bit of water over here. Look, and I just set that guy up right next to him and enabled the uh, auto input. And it just started taking it in like a champ. Oh, and it's already out of the Fido Grow. Look at that. Holy shit. All right, so uh 
Let's do this. The reaction chamber. No, no, no. That's the reaction chamber here. It's like normal. Because, uh, wait a minute. It's like this I want it. Sweet. Uh, where's my doodad? My configurator. There we go. Oh, he's already going? Dude, I didn't even think he had power yet. Okay, um, let's get, get him some more power since he's so eager to get going, right? Alright, so, <laughs> I guess, uh, he's already pumping oxygen in. What if I don't need the oxygen? Is that the oxygen I'm needing? I do need the oxygen. And I need water here, too. Oh, man, I forgot I need water here. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I could use a node. Doesn't uh, the laser I.O. also have uh, water now? Uh, fluids? Laser, laser I.O. Laser. Yeah, look, a fluid card. I've never actually used the fluid card before. Um, I guess we would need a couple of those, honestly. Okay, so one for input, one for output, right? And just need a couple of nodes. Fix this problem right up. Wait, um, can I, can I just do it for this? It gets you an extract. Okay, so you're extracting, and then I want you to insert. So now we need to configure this guy. Um, this is for fluids though. Fluids just input all sides. Can't inject. Okay. Um, well then why isn't it coming in? Why isn't the water coming in? empty. Um, does it need its input? Maybe I need, um, I don't know, why wouldn't that, why wouldn't that work? Mm -hmm. Unless it's not getting anything out of here. Does it need to be a tank? I could put a tank on there. I think I have a bunch of the, <laughs> the pneumatic craft tanks. I could just grab one out real quick. 
Maybe this isn't automatically ejecting to the node. Maybe I can just put you here. Okay, now you got water. Are you now? Oh, you know what? I'm a doof. Haha. <laughs> That's why it's not working. Because they weren't connected. Uh, so that may actually work. Let's, let's try it. Okay. Um, been so long since I, boy, I really missed playing yesterday. I just didn't get enough time. Okay, so now we got water, <laughs> and I figured it out. We got water, and we have oxygen. Why are we running out of oxygen, buddy? Oh, because we're completely filled with hydrogen, but we need hydrogen too. Pretty sure we need hydrogen. Did I send? Is it? Does it have the wrong thing over there? Let me see. Ethylene takes hyd. Oh man. Okay. So how do I get this out? I think maybe I can do, well, wait a minute, let's, let's change this first. Uh, the dark blue we want to go, wait a minute, I think the front is this way. So the, the dark blue is what we want to go to the front. This is for items, uh, but we want fluids input on all sides and can't eject um gases okay the oh yeah that's why it sent the oxygen over there uh so Dark blue is what we want on the right. Auto eject on. Okay, so now if we empty this, the hydrogen should go where it's supposed to. Okay. You know why? Because this is a gas and that's a fluid. So uh, maybe if I got a a gas tank a good basic chemical tank is it is that the same as a gas one i think so all right let's see if this works no um All right, side config, uh, gases. Input is, or output is on the right. Uh, we don't actually want it to output, do we? No, not to the right. Uh, well, yeah, maybe to the right. Okay. okay. Um. All right, let's put this guy here and tell it to output. Uh, 
No, it won't. Uh, it won't let me out with this. How am I supposed to dump it? Oh boy. If I pick it up, will it clear it? Or does it keep the inventory? Ah, oh, snickerdoodles. Okay, maybe uh it's a chemical tank okay maybe i need to get oh i don't know that i actually have the proper um for those Aha, uh -huh. these though should work because I made those really early on. Wait a minute. Yeah, basic pressurized tube. Ooh, maybe. Or do I need to go? It looks like it's connected. Okay. Uh, slide config input on all sides. Is oxygen <laughs> what is it not considered a gas? All right, let's try a fluid pipe. I'm pretty sure oxygen is a gas, but uh, let's try it just to. Make sure. Uh, oh. Okay. I have a solution here. I didn't upgrade this, did I know? Okay. I have I don't know why I can't get this out. Um, there used to be a way where you could take partial things out with the tank, you know, just by clicking on it. Um, maybe if I use at tank. Uh, maybe, no, I don't think, I don't think having a larger tank would make a difference. Can I, I don't know, but, uh, gases, yeah, it was, I'm just going to make, a, I'm just going to make a new Like, is this a bug or something? I don't know. Uh, okay, at make pressurized reaction chamber. Okay. Now this one will um, let in the right. All right, there we go. We got the hydrogen. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. And then this I can tell to just uh, dump 
excess oxygen. And then this will just continuously make our hydrogen for us. And we can get some upgrades for this guy too. Um, although I don't know that this takes tier upgrades. Uh, I can fry. I mean, I'll probably use them up anyway. Uh, on some other machine that I'm going to make, you know? <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, let's see. No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but we can do the other upgrades. And we'll get those done. Get them out of the way. Boy, you just don't, don't realize how fast time goes. Okay, so for you for you. Uh, I also need to upgrade this guy. Um, is this the one of the ones that you can put gas in? No. So we need a couple of upgrades for him too. And energy. I would really like to finish this chain on this episode, but it's taken. Uh, so get you and you. Uh, okay, so now we've got to get our biofuel in here. Uh, so we just got to get it to come out of here into here. So side config for items we are getting input over here on the left and then output on the right that sounds pretty good but uh, let's just do it so i know where everything's going right and then we should just be able to tell this guy to output over on the right look at him go and there's our ethylene and substrates <laughs> sweet um that's still not everything uh, let's see but that is definitely a good chunk in the right direction um so the substrate we can use to create HDPE pellets with oxygen. Ooh, that's the oxygen that we just have been producing and liquid ethylene. Now we're getting normal ethylene, but we have to put it through a rotary condensator to get the liquid ethylene. Yeah, uh, so Let's go back. We'll get the rotary condensator added. Um, and this has to go through another pressurized reaction chamber uh, with the oxygen, which we already have. We could tell it to stop dumping it and send it to somewhere else. And I don't need you. <laughs> so uh, we'll be able to put those machines right here in order to uh, process that. And that will be, uh, be really good to get some HDPE. And I remember from uh, my ocean block that when I set up the HDPE, it, it was... It was pretty complicated, but once you got it set up, that thing just, even with just one little machine making potatoes, you could put out some HDPE pellets. <laughs> it's crazy. <clears throat> so yeah, next episode, we're going to be putting, uh, wait a minute. Rotary condenser. 
Uh oh. I must have, since I already had it on there, it didn't add it. It took it away. So yeah, um, <laughs> we're going to get those done up in the next episode to finish off our HDPE pellets. Uh, I'm probably going to uh, try to run some cable down here. Shouldn't be too hard. Just uh, pull some channels over and pop it down over here and get some Vito grow coming in over here. And then we can also, uh, once this chain is done, just have it suck everything up. <laughs> so yeah, um, we'll go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!